Hello, welcome to IPC Global Channel. My name is Igor Alcantara, and today we're going to see how we can use simple mathematics concepts to control the visibility of columns in a table. Here's the example uh, that we're going to display. We have a table with three columns displayed by default, year, month, product line, and sales amount. But we have more columns that are only visible based on a condition. So let's say I want to show the quantity of sales. I can click the button Show Quantity, and that is displayed. I also want to show the unit price. So I can click Show Price button, and then Unit Price column is display. Let's say that I also want to show the tax amount, so I can click show tax and tax amount column is displayed. And once I have the three columns displayed, then I'm also displaying a fourth column with the sales total. I also highlighted each column with the color corresponding to the button so it's easier to visualize the effect of each click. There are multiple ways we can do this. One simple solution is to create one variable per button. And then once you click the button, you change the value of the variable and you use the variable to define if the column is displayed or not. However, I'm going to show you another way, simpler and more elegant. Let me click reset to set the variable. What I'm going to do is to use a very old mathematical concept, the prime number. We know prime numbers have one particular property. They can only be divided by themselves and by one. If you divide the prime number by any other number, you get not an integer result, but you get a reminder. So I'm going to use that concept to use one single variable and use that variable to control the display of the columns. I have another sheet here with the same tables, but with no conditions. So we can do all steps. First, let me click to edit the sheet. And let's then create the variable that I'm going to use to control the visibility of columns. Let me click the variables panel down here, and then create new variable, and let's call this variable v column display. And I'm going to set as initial value for that column number 1. Now that we have that column created, let's then associate a number every time you click one of these buttons. And I'm going to use prime numbers for that. So, I'm going to associate any random prime number to each one of these buttons. And just to make it simpler, let's start with the first prime number. So let's start with number 2. So Once I click this first button, I'm going to take the value of the variable and multiply by 2. So click on the button. Let's go to the properties, actions and navigations. Let me add an action. And the action is the last one in the list, set variable value. The name of my variable I already copied. It's v column display. And the value of the variable is whatever value that variable already has, so let me put the variable name, times the prime number that I chose for that button, which is 2. So every time I click on this button, that variable value is multiplied by 2. Then I do the same for the other buttons but using a different prime number. And it can be any number. It can be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, even 7,559. 
So let me click then the second, just make a simple, let's just choose then the second prime number. So let me again go to action, select the action, set variable value, the variable is the column display and the value will be the name of the variable times three. So three is the prime number for this button and for the last one, I'm gonna do five. So let's do add action, set variable value, variable name and value then it will be that times five. And then the last button reset, I'm simply gonna set the variable value back to one. Now, last step is to use that in order to control the visibility of the columns. So let's start with the first one, quantity. Once I click the show quantity button, I multiply the value of the variable by two. So I can check if the division of the variable by two has any reminders or if it is an integer. So let me go to the table and the properties find data, find the column that I want, quantity, scroll until we find the show column if property. Then we can click this function of X to expand it and we can write our condition. So there is a function in click called mod that returns the reminder of a division. So it's going to be the variable divided by two. If that is equals to zero, it means that button was clicked. Then I can click apply and you see the column disappear because right now the value of the variable is still one. And then we can quickly do the same for the other columns. Just remember change the number that we check in the division. So let's go to unit price. The prime number for that is three. Show column F. And we can do the same condition. Mod of the variable and three equals to zero means the division returns an integer. And then we can go to the third column tax amount, show column if, and do the same. Now the prime number is five. Now let's go to the final column, show tax, and same concept, mod of the variable divided by five must be equal zero. But there is another condition. You see, once I remove those columns, the calculation of sales total collapsed because I need those columns to calculate that. So I want to display this only if all three are shown. I can also use the properties of a prime number. So if I multiply those prime numbers, so two times three times five, which is 30, then I can check the division by 30 and use that to display this column. So then we can go to that last column, find show column if, and do the same. But now we check in the division by 30 equals to zero. Now let's click done editing and let's test. So, the variable now is equals to one. If I click show price, then the variable one is multiplied by three. So it's, it, which is three, three divided by three has no reminder. So the column is displayed. The mod of that is zero. Then I can click on show quantity. The value three is now multiplied by two, which is six and six divided by two has no reminder, it's an integer result, so the column is also displayed, and both columns are displayed. And if I click show text, 
the same happens to this, but also to the last column, because the result is also a division by 30. What is interesting is you can click multiple times and it doesn't affect the effect because they are all prime numbers. So it doesn't matter how many times you multiply by those numbers. Of course, there are multiple ways, but this is an elegant way. You only need one variable to do this. But the main message here is when you have a problem to solve, instead of going to the standard and default and simple solutions, Try to think mathematically about how to solve the problem. In most scenarios, you will find a more elegant and simpler to maintain solution. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time.